Do I look well? Do I look good? This might be the most underwhelming way wait, wait, wait. to... I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> okay, go ahead. So summer of 2022, I spent three months abroad, give or take, and thanks to friends and family, I was like, I was able to do the whole trip for only like $5,000, right? So I figured, hey, you know, if I work freelance, if I work cheap jobs, if I break even, then I can just stay abroad. You know what I mean? I have no idea what I'm doing. I bought a plane ticket to Spain, so at some point I figured I should stop thinking about it and I should just throw myself into it. Cause like I'm already broke, you know? Like I, there's nothing to lose at this point except money, <laughs> you know? So I'm in Florida, a month and, and about a half week away from this trip. Fuck, I, don't, I didn't have a script for this. Things are weird right now because the money is out of my account for the next few months. Like I've already committed, you know, like when you make an impulsive decision, you usually make it and then you do the thing that you have impulsed on. But the unique benefit of impulsively buying a plane ticket is that you have a month and a half to reflect on it afterwards, you know, two months. But like now it's starting to like sink in where I'm like, this, this will be my life for the next half year, at least, right? I can't, life is crazy, man. Anyways, the beach is closed. To be honest, when I started filming, like before my trip actually started, there was like two main rationales. The first one being, oh my God, I just got a little new mic, a new gizmo. I really want to try it out. And secondly, I want to embarrass myself in public to the point that I don't really care about recording myself in public anymore. You know what I mean? I think we all have some kind of like natural inhibitor that keeps us from like, embarrassing the hell out of ourselves in public. And I don't know if it's because of like the internet and social media and being perceived, but I definitely have it. I was definitely, probably am still camera shy. But that was the main motivator to getting out and starting to do stuff. Not just like in small trips like this Florida thing, but like in the months leading up to actually traveling to get to a point where I can be abroad, I can have a camera on hand and I can like, I don't know, make videos that I haven't done before because live action, all of this is, is new territory for me. And already with the footage that I have recorded, it's like you begin to realize that just by living life, like there's always a narrative there. You know what I mean? You can make a story out of anything. Not to say that I'm good at it, you know? <laughs> I, I, this is not something I'm comfortable with. I love how this chair is like, this chair is definitely too low to be like, like, Am I taking up like the corner of the screen here? I have no idea. Doesn't matter. Point is, I don't know what the point is. You know, I, I think, I think it's very clear. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> I think it's very clear that I know little to nothing of what I'm doing 90% of the time, you know? I live by impulse. I live by improv and it has gotten me this far and I'm gonna keep relying on it. So this is the prelude. The in-between, the time before actually traveling. I'm still working on videos. I'm still working in general. It's, it's odd, right? Because it, it's, a, it's a limbo, not just for my personal life. Because, you know, obviously committing to traveling for this long is going to shape up a sizable chunk of my life. But beyond that, it's also like for YouTube, right? For content, for videos, for editing, blah, blah, blah. Once I start traveling, this is like, that's it. That's the opportunity. That's the new domain, you know? I don't know. I'm excited, I think. I don't regret it yet, right? And that's, I don't know, dude. I gotta record something else.
This is the most dad angle. This is this is the angle your dad takes when he like FaceTime calls you. Oh man. All right. I don't know what the point. I just want to see what portrait looked like. Is this car on? Yeah. Woohoo! We're getting gas. So I've been driving a lot lately, and by a lot lately I mean today and yesterday for two hours I think question mark no way I'm dumb as hell uh so three hours on the way it's been like one and a half so I don't know what that math is so I've been doing a lot of things to prep you know aside from like buying gear and trying out new things but one of the things I've been doing because I've never vlogged this is not a genre that I have addled in addled in I'm not a vlogger I don't really watch vloggers, so I've been like listening to friends' recommendations and I was talking to my friend about it because again, like I didn't watch vlogs and they were like, hey, you should watch Emma Chamberlain. And I was like, I don't, I have not seen her stuff before. What are you, debit card? Yes. I was, <laughs> I can't, I cannot do two things at once, bro. I'm like a troglodyte when it comes to multitasking. So I've been watching vlogs. I was watching Emma Chamberlain and I was like, I don't know, I, I was thinking about the fall, because I got like really bad burnout. And on some level, I think I needed to burn out. Because like, you know, it recalibrated like my interest, where I was like, oh my God, you know? I fried, but I still like enjoy doing this, so then I should probably keep trying to learn how to make videos, you know? But also like, as I watch other creators again, I'm like, like I'm reminded why I, I love all of this so much, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I, every time I turn on the mic, I'm like, I really like this, I do. And I think the reason that keeps coming up is because it's like, I haven't figured out how to do this, you know what I mean? I think I've jumped around so many different formats, so many different mediums, and like part of it's like figuring out what sticks and what feels right, but it's also, there's just, there's so many good, amazing things out there, and you wanna like mess with everything at least once, you know? like. I see a painter and I'm like, oh, I should dabble in paint. I see a guitarist, I'm like, I should learn how to play that. What's the one proverb? He who chases two rabbits catches neither. I think I chase too many rabbits, you know? I'm definitely chasing more than two. I've, I've definitely caught none. Sometimes I squeeze the gas a little extra. <laughs> I don't think that's good for your car, but like, I'm like, let me get one more, one more quick pump. It sounds awful. I think that dude was just watching me talk to myself that's the other thing like the more that i do this like on a whim in public spaces it goes against like all of my social intuitions you know i didn't think i was camera shy this is gonna be really gross i didn't think i was camera shy i think i might be you know i don't even know if it's camera shyness it's just like i think i say a lot of dumb things in my day-to-day -day life and it's like where are my keys I think I say a lot of stupid things in my day-to-day -day life, but like when you say things in your day-to-day -day life, you don't think about it. But when the mic's on, like then you're like, oh, that was a goofy thought. And when I was watching both of like Nysa and Emma, I was like, these people are, are you know, I, I guess there's like always a level of performance with the internet, but it feels like they've at least found or worked towards their comfort, you know? And I think that's probably the most important thing. I think that's probably the hardest thing about making anything on the internet you know like who wants to be perceived right <laughs> not me i can't i can't fucking turn this shit off i'm not i'm not talking while i drive bro i think every year that passes i dislike winter a little more you know and i don't even know if it's like the seasonal depression i mean that's, that's part of it man this shit sucks but like I don't know, man. I think it's kind of funny that just like once a year, people just feel like, like not great. Like that's weird, right? That I mean, like it's not weird, but like it is weird, right? <laughs> uh, I think every year I'm like, I don't know, man. Like this this winter, right? It's uh, December hits. Obviously, I get hit with the usual, oh, I feel like dog water, I stop uploading, stop making things, stop doing my hobbies. But, like, every single year, I'm like, dude, like, I'll be sad for, like, one week, and then I'll be like, yeah, like, that's past me now. Like, seasonal depression is just a, a phase, you know? Like, I'm not, 
sad anymore. And then I'm still sad. And I'm like, what? Like, how can this be, you know? <laughs> what? I think that's another reason I'm excited for travel because it is sunnier and warmer in every place except here, you know? I, I would just like to feel like my skin feels like skin again and not dried leather, right? I'm done driving now. I'm like, I'm exhausted, dude. I'm, I'm beat. I'm heating up a burrito. It's good, you know? I think I vlogged more today. I'm not peeing by the way, I'm getting a lot I think I vlogged more today than I have Florida, question mark? I don't even know, dude. I, I think sometimes, like, what am I gonna title this? This fucking chapstick. 